So my name is Diana Magliano and I run a group called Diabetes and Population Health. And what we're interested in in this group is to look at the relationship between diabetes and other important chronic diseases, and one of those diseases is cancer. Mum had two or three two litre bottles of cordial, cordial concentrate in the kitchen and I, I started them and by the end of a week I drank the three bottles all mixed up with water and diluted and I was just incredibly thirsty. Someone had said to me, oh maybe you have diabetes. I was told to go off to the doctor to find out and he did a urine test and said that you're my first diabetic patient. Diabetes is becoming a really big problem um, in Australia and we find this problem everywhere in both developing and developed worlds. So it's the biggest epidemic we're facing and we think it's going to lead to many other chronic diseases. Two years after that I'd get severe bouts of nausea. It was horrible. I had a diabetes appointment and he checked me over. I, he asked if there was anything in particular that concerned me. And I said, well, I'd really like to lose some weight from my tummy. And he prodded around my tummy and said, hmm, we think you have an ovarian cyst, um, but I think we should get it operated on. And I went in, I think, six weeks later. But I woke up to being told that they'd done a hysterectomy. And over the next few days it unravelled that after they sent bits off for tests um, and that was to check whether the cancer had, mis had spread any further and it had. There were microscopic seeds in the amentum so they had to go on with chemo. A year later they cut me open, checked, made sure everything was okay. They checked everywhere and it was all fine. So cancer-free ever since then, which is beautiful. We have a, probably about 1.5 million people with diabetes at the moment, and we think this number will get to 3 million by the year 2025 if rates don't start to change. If I can provide evidence to really support the link between diabetes and cancer, we can then describe or develop uh, intervention strategies to intervene with people with diabetes so we can stop them developing the cancers support from people in the community to research any connection between cancer and diabetes is essential to enable this to happen and to save lives. So diabetes is a really big problem and it's going to put people at risk of developing other serious chronic diseases. So please help us solve these links and donate today.